welcome to another session of the e 2 Library tutorial series. This is a continuation of the citation aspect. This time around, we are coming to learn how we can use the Mendeleev desktop software to prepare or to generate our reference list. Already in our previous tutorials, we captured how we can use the Mendeleev to automate our in-text citation. We discussed the two types of the in-text citations and how we can use Mendeleev desktop software to do that automatically. All right, now in this tutorial, we are going to cover how we can use the same Mendeleev desktop software to generate a reference list. Now, remember that um, the number of in-text citations that you have must conform to the reference list that you have generated. So the in-text citation that you have must at all costs has its corresponding reference when we come to the reference list. And we are going to use Mendeleev desktop software to to meet the generation generating of our reference list. So we are going to use the previous document, the one that we use for the in-text citation, we are going to use the same document to populate our reference list. So let's insert a new blank page. And with this particular blank page, let's give it a heading, references. So we highlight it, we format it nicely. That is, we center our heading. We can also bold it nicely. So we are expecting our reference list to show over here. And how do we do that? Make sure that your main desktop is always active if you want to do both the in-text citation and also to generate the reference list. Because when your Mendeleev desktop software is not active, it will be difficult to populate the reference list. In attempt to do that, Microsoft Word will notify you that your Mendeleev is not launched or it's not active. And so would you like Microsoft Word to automatically launch it for you? So the software must be active before you'll be able to generate your reference list. And at the same time, prepare your in-text citation. All right. So we have our Microsoft Word open. And we also have our in-text citation showing over here. And we want to generate our reference list. So we click on references. Then we have the insert citation. This time around, we are going straight to insert bibliography. So we click on insert bibliography. We realize that my references are generated nicely over here. And I can highlight it and format it accordingly. So after highlighting, I can go to home justify it, you can change the font size to whatever size that you want. You can also change the line spacing. You can do anything with it. So that is our reference list over here. And you realize that we have three references showing over here. That conforms to the number of in-text citations that we also have over here. We also have three in-text citations over here. So the system works in such that if you don't have a particular in-text citation over here, there wouldn't be any way that the system will generate its own reference list for you. It's not done that way. So in our subsequent tutorials, we, we also take you through how you can 
enter information manually in your Mendeley desktop software, how you can also cite and reference a particular website. In fact, how you can do more stuff with Mendeley, that is the intermediate and also the advanced level. So with this tutorial, it just captured how you can populate or generate your reference list. And that brings us to the end of this particular tutorial. Always remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel at ATU Library, and we have more tutorials for you. Thank you.